Hey guys, welcome to our 2023 Airstream International. We just pulled into the Bastrop State Park. We got a really sweet spot overlooking some water back here. And we're just gonna go through a couple of the enhancements and upgrades we've made to the Airstream since we got it that make this space even better. Let's get started. The first one is over here and it has to do with these two mutts on the couch. Whenever we're gone, we want to make sure that they can be contained. These guys are wild animals. They'll be all over the bed. They'll be in the windows. It'll be a disaster. So we used to bring in a crate and it was a big pain to set it up every time we wanted to leave. So to fix that, we just installed one of those like gate latches right here between the bathroom door and the closets. And that thing is secure. We can get them in the bedroom if we want, or we can keep them out here if we want, but at least they're contained to one section of the trailer when we're gone. In addition to that, just to keep a special eye on them, we've got the Waggle pet monitor that we use to make sure the temperature is okay. And we just recently got this, which is pretty cool. We can keep an actual eye on them when we're not here in the trailer with them. Using that same type of latch, we have secured our pantry. We used to come in after traveling and random things were just on the ground. So I know that this was opening and slamming closed in transit. So we simply installed one right here and we can latch it when we're driving and that never happens anymore. Okay, this one isn't like a major upgrade, but more of like a life upgrade. It was really hard to find a place to put a full length mirror in here. We of course first tried the closet, like the four stacked mirrors. And for some reason those warp really easily, even if they're spaced out. So you never really get a clear picture of what you're looking like. We got one of those cheap mirrors from Walmart and I simply installed some hooks on the backside. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works. We hook it on the back of the shower and when we're traveling, we just throw it on the bed. Speaking of the bed, the first time we set out on like a three week trip, night one, I was miserable sleeping in this thing. It's, it's comfortable, but I was still bottoming out on the, the uh, plywood board because I sleep on my side. So we went to Walmart and we got this foam mattress topper. I think it's like an inch and a half and it has made such a difference. You put this on top of the mattress and then we got a bamboo um, mattress cover just to keep it all in place. It has an extra little foam on it. Man, this thing is so comfortable. It feels just like our bed at home now. Also, we felt like when the air wasn't running, it wasn't necessarily hot. It was just super stuffy and I was missing having a ceiling fan. So we simply just put a fan over here in the corner and this actually creates both a white noise and some nice airflow in here while we're, while we're sleeping. In addition to that, just to add a bit of cozy, I got some of these um, wireless lamps. You can charge them really easily. You can charge them actually on the USBs that come on either side of the bed, off, on, and you can even dim them or brighten them just by a touch of your finger. Wow. And we've saved the best for last. If you're wondering why you were watching this video on a channel called Digital Barbell, that is because we are online fitness and nutrition coaches. Since we have an online business, we can be anywhere and we love to be out in our Airstream, but we also like to stand up when we work. So we recently built a standing desk. We wanted to make sure that our dogs still had plenty of room to sit because they mostly hang out on these sections of the couch. So we didn't want to take up this whole entire place building a desk. So we actually have a full video we'll link for you that of how we made this, how we figured out the size and what kind of brackets we use that make this standing desk amazing for your camper. In addition to that, we put the TV on a swivel. When you, first, when you originally get the TV from the Airstream, at least in 2023, it is mounted flat to the wall and you can't move it and you couldn't really see it from everywhere. So we put one of those swivel brackets so we can get it out of the way of the standing desk. Someone can work here, we can still see the TV and it all works out great. One upgrade that we want to make that I know is on our list next is to put this on some sort of bracket that will hold this up. And I think after that, this place will be amazing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.